I bought an upgrade for my multi-monitor setup. This is my current setup. Oh, what a mess. Let's fix that. That's much better. Opgelost. So this is my current setup. My 10 core Xeon workstation has a uh, GTX 970 uh, with now currently 4 monitors. 2 Asus 27 inch IPS panels running at 2560 by 1440. Here on top we have 2 19 inch Yama screens. They are from 2007. They are uh, 1280 by 1024. The monitors are TN panels but they are gaming screens. They are pretty decent. But the uh, screen is a little bit yellowish, so I gonna replace them in my setup. So I bought for 120 euros this LG uh, ultra wide screen, and it is 2560 by 1080, and it is the same width as these two panels together, but the height is a little bit more. So these two monitors will be replaced by this ultra wide screen in my setup. When I play in games, I watch a lot of YouTube videos on the top screens and that's why I want to have a better screen. The two monitors are hanging from this monitor arms on this uh, very long aluminium rod. Lol, the previous owner didn't take off the plastic. We have two HDMI inputs and it has an external power supply. The face mount is 75 millimeters. Let's see how we can remove this monitor stand. Behind the cover we have two screws. Let's remove this lower CD rack, because who lists two CDs nowadays and the monitors are blocking it anyways, so it's time to remove it. So let's deal with this cable mess. Let's swap over the face and mount plate and luckily we also have 75mm holes so we don't have to drill extra holes. Let's hope the new monitor works with the monitor arm. So now comes the annoying part. I want to lower the monitor so I need to loosen the hex keys and try to get it down and it's not the best arm so it's quite annoying to do. This extra block is a little bit tight so I'm gonna fix that in the workshop. So I fixed it so uh, let's uh, put it back. I moved the monitors and the monitors stand more to this side, so probably the CD rack didn't have to go. Okay, the monitors detected, but it is now screwing up with my primary display, so we need to set it up again. Let's see, what did they do? Identify, let's move this one on top of here, uh, on top of here, and this one to here. Okay, noise. So let's go to YouTube because I have some uh, wide angle videos that I shot on Dutch video shooter. Let's play a video that I shot on my GH5 in anamorphic and 266 to 1. And it looks really nice on this wide screen. And as you can notice we have even black bars here. So white is this uh, video. But let's go to another video that I just cropped and shot on a normal lens on my other channel uh, wheels. And that is this truck video from the Macdag.
and this looks really amazing on this screen. And this advantage of this LG monitor is that the controls are here on a joystick under the monitor in a bulb. So I need to lower this monitor to control it. So let's go into the menu and to the picture modus. It's now a custom game. That's probably not what I want. Let's see what else we have. Cinema is, I think photo. Photo is the one I prefer. Let me show you a trick how I can use this single monitor in the situation before with the two monitors. When I have a window I can simply uh, pull it here to the side till it makes this box. So it uh, automatically uses half of the screen. And when I do the same to this screen I can also put it here in the corner. And now I have two browsers both on half of the screen. Without any special drivers, this is just standard in Windows. So I went from four screens to three screens, but with the split screen function, I don't miss anything. When I watch a video now, I have much more room for it. And they are all IPS panels, so I have much better quality than the TN panels. Also all are 2560 wide. As you can see, the dot pitch is a bit different, so uh, that's why this screen is a little bit wider, but finding a similar dot pitch on 27 inch Quad HD screens is a little bit tricky. But the situation like this works for me, so that's not an issue for me. I don't gonna throw away the old screens, because I have 7 of them, so I gonna do a special project with them. This LG monitor is not on the market anymore, but they have a newer model, so I will put uh, links to the monitors uh, down in the description. They will be Amazon affiliated links, so if you buy a monitor with that link, I will get a little bit of money out of it and it won't cost you extra. Also down in the descriptions there will be links to my trucking channel, uh, where I make videos about trucks and off-road stuff. And also to Dutch video shoot on my channel about filmmaking. So thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Subscribe and leave a comment. You can join Retro Machines on Facebook. And support me monthly on Patreon. This is how it looks when I'm gaming and watching videos.